there are many um, systems of meditation and many outcomes of those meditations and philosophies of religions or spiritual paths. There are Hindu uh, oriented people who practice Hindu meditation or Taoist meditation or just uh, Tibetan meditation practices or just uh, some Chan meditation, Zen meditation. In my case, I was practicing Zen because uh, first uh, Buddhist uh, books uh, um, I met uh, in my life was Zen books by Daita Sesar Suzuki, the introduction to Zen Buddhism and uh, I pay attention to those uh, informations uh, about uh, Zen and enlightenment uh, by uh, Zen masters or Chan masters uh, in China or in Japan. <coughs> their way of teaching and their way of uh, enlightening uh, the, the adepts, the disciples. Uh, such statements like dry sheets on the street or uh, lonely cypress in the garden or just uh, three pounds of uh, flax. Uh, the answers of uh, uh, Chan masters uh, in comparison to questions uh, what is Buddha, what is enlightenment? The answer was short and uh, down to earth in nutshell. And I liked that. I knew uh, that this is it. Uh, this is uh, what I need and uh, what I need to follow and realize. Because uh, these uh, short teachings uh, were mm, exactly what Buddha. Uh, Shakyamuni was uh, doing uh, during his meditation in the jungle. Like that. And uh, his uh, enlightenment uh, during uh, seeing morning star uh, as the uh, root of uh, Zen teachings of uh, later uh, masters and patriarchs of Buddhism starting from uh, 28 uh, patriarch of Buddhism after Shakyamuni uh, who became first patriarch of Zen of Chan uh, and his name was Bodhidharma a very famous uh, teacher and uh, his successor Huika, who cut uh, his uh, arm and uh, was standing in the blizzard uh, all night to get uh, some uh, attention to Bodhidharma, of Bodhidharma. Uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> my primary primary uh, teacher was Zen Master Sung Sang of Korean Chogi Order, of Korean Seon, uh, Korean Zen. And they have uh, this uh, teaching about the um, various eyes. Small eye, nothing eye, and big eye. Uh, so uh, this is uh, working for me, uh, maybe not working for everybody, but it was working for me and it worked working for me uh, right away and uh, in my everyday life. So small I is a uh, world, uh, let's say uh, in this world we have three, three realms. Three worlds. 
word of ordinary people, word of bodhisattvas and word of Buddhas. In the same realm, in the same world, three worlds, different uh, realms. So world of ordinary people is world of small I. Uh, this is uh, world of, uh, of thinking, of avidya, ignorance, and of uh, ego grasping. Like that, we have uh, this uh, uh, world of uh, strife and uh, violence, uh, world of crime and world of uh, suffering. This is world of small I, ordinary people, ordinary beings, animals included. Animals even worse suffering than uh, uh, humans uh, in this uh, realm of small I, the realm of uh, thinking, attachment uh, to your thoughts, ideas and uh, desires. If you are lucky, you can enter the world of uh, empty eye, of nothing eye. This is world of emptiness. This is world of no eye. No eye, no mind, no enlightenment, no Buddha, no avidya, no samsara, no nirvana, no nothing, no anything, no everything. This is world without words. Like that, without uh, thinking, non-thinking world, non-thinking mind. This is uh, Bodhisattva world, world of emptiness. Realm, new realm, you enter new realm, you leave realm of samsara and you enter realm of nirvana uh, as Bodhisattva. And uh, the settings of the uh, the world are the same, but your views, uh, view is different and your vision is different of the world than before. And there is third, third realm, the realm of Buddhas. This is the realm of Bikai. This is the realm of enlightenment. Again, Setting is the same, but uh, the life is different, completely different life. Different view of uh, other people uh, and situations, uh, and your life is uh, complete uh, life with complete uh, truth. Uh, you live uh, in everyday life with everyday mind. Like that, this is the realm of enlightenment. So we have the realm of avidya, the realm of ignorance, which is samsara, the small I. The realm of emptiness, which is the realm of bodhisattvas. And the realm of uh, <coughs> enlightenment, which is the realm of Buddhas. In this world. Like that. So uh, this is uh, just a, a comparison uh, between these three realms. And this is the uh, teachings of Chogi order uh, of uh, Korean Zen, Korean Seon, uh, which was taught uh, by my teacher, uh, Zen Master Sung Sang, uh, the famous, uh, recently famous, uh, uh, he passed away in 2004, but uh, he was famous uh, uh, Korean uh, Zen master in America, uh, <coughs> traveler of the world, you can say about him. So realm of avidya is the realm of violence, dangerous realm. You are hopeless, helpless. You are completely uh, in hands of your karma. 
if you are doing uh, positive actions, positive thinking, you are making positive karma and uh, you make uh, happiness in the serum for yourself and for your uh, friends, for your family, for matters, be other people. But uh, if your actions uh, are uh, negative and uh, thoughts, uh, are violent, negative thoughts, uh, aggressive thoughts, uh, angry thoughts, hateful thoughts, you are uh, accumulating energy of uh, negative karma. And when negative karma comes up to fruition, uh, bad things are starting happening around you and with you. You can uh, get hurt, hurt uh, like that, uh, or killed, or raped, or, or beaten up, or robbed, or looted, uh, like that. Your house is in danger, your dwelling is uh, under um, the influence of other people. Some burglars uh, are coming to you uh, to steal from you. Not uh, necessary, but when you do negative uh, frame of your mind, these things happen to you, happening to you, like that. But if you are uh, paying attention to positive uh, thoughts, positive thinking, constructive uh, thoughts, then you can uh, make your happiness uh, in your life and your property is uh, secured and uh, protected by your karma, by a positive mind. But you are still in the power of self. You think permanent self is you. And uh, you, when you pass away, you think you are leaving the body and you live uh, as a job in, uh, in next life, the same person, which is mistaken view, according to Buddha. But according to Hindu teachers, uh, this is eternal self and uh, eternity of existence of self, of uh, universal self. Uh, you exist as universal self, as uh, they say, a self of God, or para, para Atman, like this, or Brahman. If you are Bodhisattva, uh, this is uh, the realm of emptiness, uh, there is no self. You don't believe in self because uh, when you seek uh, self uh, within yourself here, you will find nothing. Only empty space, emptiness. So you are free from Avidya and free from Samsara and you enter the realm of Nirvana in this world, like that. And as Bodhisattva, you live uh, for all beings. Your actions are for all beings. Not only for yourself, but for all beings. In Samsara, in small I, your actions are only for yourself and for your folks, for your family. And you disregard the other people, just don't care. And to the realm, the realm of Buddhas, uh, this is a realm of uh, enjoyment and rest, relaxation realm, realm. You as Buddha, you did your job, so you had nothing to search, nothing to seek anymore, just you found what you wanted to find. You found true self. Your true self is uh, uh, Dharmakaya, the body of space and uh, you live in Trikaya, Dharmakaya, Nirmanakaya and Sambhogdakaya. 
The world is uh, decay already. The space is, is like uh, uh, Dharmakaya. This room with furniture and your body and body stuff. Other beings are like Nirmanakaya. And energy of uh, light and sound and uh, <coughs> Kinetic energy is like uh, energy of Sambhogakaya, manifestation of Sambhogakaya. And these three kayas are one, one kaya of Buddha. And when you are Buddha, uh, you perceive uh, differently uh, the world. Your view, your vision is pure, clear, clear mind, vision. And your karma is clear, cause and effect are clear. Because karma is cause and effect, action like. When you do something, this action has effect on you and on the world, on the whole universe. So, uh, <clears throat> In Buddha world, this action is uh, always true, always the same action, action of uh, Bikai. Bikai means that you are uh, the world and the world is you. This is Bikai, like that. In small eye, in samsara, you are separated from the world. And each thing is separated uh, from other things. So it is uh, always uh, conflict between people. Even friendship, when friends, you know, they say we friends for life. But after some quarrel or something, these friends become enemies. And also happens that enemies can become friends. This is some sort of thing changing moment to moment. Unstable energy can become stable energy like that. Like that. And in Buddha realm, everything is stable. Your mind is still, and your speech is ordinary speech. Your activities are ordinary activities. There is no difference. You cannot tell the difference between ordinary person and Buddha. The only difference is that ordinary is uh, still confused and attached to thinking and uh, is uh, under influence of pleasures and vexations and Buddhas are just uh, free from these uh, calamities. But that's just doing nothing. They enjoy their life. Everyday life. Like that. <clears throat>